Queer V here, and it's time for Art Snacks. Ah! As a disclaimer, I would like to say that this is the third video of me on my channel with this exact outfit. That's because this is the third video I'm recording today. <laughs> I didn't wear this three days in a row, I promise. <laughs> All right. So I'm super excited about this. Um, this is the first Art Snacks box that I have no idea what it's going to be inside. I have no idea. The last one, my box came uh, pretty late and I ended, I, I ended up watching some YouTubers before it came. So this time I did not and I'm so excited because I have no clue what's in here. Um, first, I did want to say that uh, the sticker is kind of like flying out of here. Oh, now it's pushed in, but... Um, it's like uh, peeking out here. It was like out here when uh, my partner came in and gave the box to me. So I was a little concerned about that. Maybe that's why people keep losing their stickers because um, the stickers keep like falling out of the boxes. Like I don't know how that happens, but uh, so I love this sticker. It's kind of like Christmassy and I love Christmas. It kind of looks like a, a sweater. <laughs> it's super cute. I, I love this sticker. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, even though it was peeking out of the box, I'm glad it, glad I didn't lose it. So, all right, it's, it's time to open. Do, do, do. Just got some new scissors from Walmart. They're obviously not very good. <laughs> My nail apparently works better <laughs> than the scissors. <laughs> Guess my nails are sharp. <laughs> okay. What's inside? <gasps> Ooh, okay. So the first thing that I see right here is these pens. We'll explore those a little more, but ooh, four different, and they all like are, ooh, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this, okay. Here's the menu. And okay, most of the stuff is wrapped in here, but then the snack is so little like candy cane. Oh, that's so cute for December, Christmas. Oh, I love it. I love the theme. I, I'm obsessed with Christmas, so I love that. Okay, all right, everything's in here. What's in here? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. I try to keep these kind of intact so that I can maybe, you know, use this green tissue paper at some point. Ooh, this is like giant. What is this? Whoa, paint marker. This is, this is giant. Like, whoa, look how big this is. <laughs> um. Oh no, Discord is still up. Let me close that so you don't hear any more noises. Okay, and then um, a pencil. And uh, ooh, a Tombow pen. Okay. All right. So let's let's take a look at these products a little bit closer. All right. So here's what's on the menu for December. The first thing on here is the Crink K75 paint marker, a $12 retail. Okay. So wow, that's pretty cool. Um, all right. So, headquartered in Brooklyn, New York, Crink makes creative tools for creative thinkers. The K75 paint marker features a 7mm chisel tip and is filled with permanent alcohol-based paint. This ultra-smooth, opaque paint maintains its vibrant color on a variety of light or dark surfaces. To use, shake well until thoroughly mixed, remove the cap, and press the nib down several times until saturated. Okay, so... I'm assuming this is yellow, but it doesn't have a. I'm looking for like the color name. I don't. I don't see a color name. So that's kind of weird. But it's bright yellow, so I guess that's what it is. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. Oh wow, it's giant. Look how big that is. Whoa! Oh my God! Please focus. There we go. Yay! So that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's definitely yellow. I see the yellow paint in there. Um, but I wish I had a name. I, I like knowing the names <laughs> of colors. I guess I could look it up maybe. Um, but okay. So the next thing on the list 
is the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pins Black Set of Four. And I'm really excited for this because I've seen a lot of people on YouTube use um, this brand, Pit Artist Pins, specifically. So I'm like, I'm so excited to use these because I've always wanted to and I haven't bought them because they're kind of expensive. Um, so this is a $13.25 retail. It is a staff favorite. Oh, you can see the line, the, yeah, there you go. Um, experience the unique combination of a modern, easy-to-use pen and traditional India ink with Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. India ink is pigmented, very light, fast. It can last over 25 years! Wow! And waterproof. Yeah! Making it a popular choice among artists everywhere. This set has all your drawing needs covered with four different nib styles. B, brush. SB, soft brush. SC soft calligraphy and 1.5 bullet. So wow, I'm I'm so excited for this, especially because they're waterproof. I love I love waterproof, um, and yeah, so that I can do like watercolor underneath it or you know whatever wet media on top of it or whatever. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, all right. Sorry, I'll stop freaking out about it now. <laughs> all right. So the next item on the list is a Tombow. Tombow Fudenosuke Colors Brush Pen. Okay. Oh my god, please focus. Come on, I believe. There we go. Whee. That's nice. Okay, so let's look at the tip before I start reading it. That's nice. Okay, so that... I'm assuming it's just like the other Fudenosuke pen that I got in different art snacks. It was like... Oh, farther... A longer time ago one. I have it somewhere, but anyways, I like it a lot, so I was actually just using the black and gray one on my bullet journal, <laughs> so I'm excited to have this blue color. Does it have like a color name on it? It just says blue. Okay. Uh, so, all right, 349 retail. This is a new product. Oh, the wait is finally over. The much-loved Tombow Fudenosuke Hard Tip Brush Pin now comes in a variety of vibrant colors. Ah, I get it. So, it used to just come in black and gray. Cool. Um, a wonderful tool for both hand letterers and illustrators. This water-based pen features a firm brush nib that allows for an easy transition from thick to thin lines. It is true. At first, I I had a little struggle trying to like figure out how do I like use this as like a sort of a brush pen when it's so hard. Like I, I wasn't sure how to do it, but then I figured it out and I actually um, I actually drew some really nice. I'll actually just show you whatever. I I do some really nice. Um, sort of brush pen styles in my bullet journal there. Um, it's not really focusing, but there we go. Yeah, so I used my black um, Tombow Fudenosuke pen to do that. And I thought it, it worked really well. I couldn't do it with like any other pen that I had. So I really like that. So I'm really, really excited for the blue one. Now I have a colored one. Oh, it's so great. All right, so the last thing on here is the General's Droughting Pencil, and this is a 81 cents retail, so you know, not, not very expensive, but still, it, lo it looks nice. Um, we love a sturdy, well-rounded pencil. Made by family-owned General Pencil Company in Jersey City, New Jersey, the dra drafting, oh, pfft. I said droughting, Dr that's what it looks like, okay, but now this says pronounced drafting, okay drafting pencil. Ooh, sorry. Can be used for pretty much everything. It has a thick core and is made with genuine incense cedar wood, Ooh, which in, insur ensures smooth sharpening and performance. The soft graphite delivers super dark marks, so you'll achieve beautiful dark to light gradations on any bright surface. Cool. Okay. So I guess I've never had like a drafting pencil, whatever that means. So we'll find out um, how to use that. And let me put it a little closer. Maybe I didn't totally. But yeah, it, it looks pretty nice. I mean, I, I I have a lot of pencils, but I I'm more interested in this than some of the other pencils I've gotten from Art Snack boxes. So. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll be interested to try this one because I don't have any drafting pencils. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty 
happy with this box, I think. I mean, I don't know. I, I probably won't be able to use this very well because I'm not, I'm not very good at paint markers, but I don't know. We'll, we'll find out what happens. Um, I really like yellow, so I, I'm excited for this color. Um, especially with black, yellow and black are so good together. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, I have no clue what I'm going to make with this stuff but oh and the blue will look really nice with yellow too blue and yellow oh so good so that'll be fun i have no clue what i'm gonna make but i guess you can join me in the future when i make that sorry this video was so long i got a little overexcited about things <laughs> um but yeah i hope to see you next time and if you are also an art snacks subscriber please let me know what colors you got in your box i'll be really interested to know bye <laughs>